Hey everyone, in this video I will be doing a walkthrough of my GitHub README, the thing that you see on the screen right now. And I'll be showing you how I set it up and how you can do this for yourself. So uh, let me quickly walk you through the visual aspects of the things that are present. The first one is a simple header link to my links page. Then I have a sort bio. Uh, then I have all of these links directly attached to make it a profile along with colors and icons. Then I have this nice snake animation that goes through all of my commits in the last year. Uh, and yeah, it's really fun to look at and it has some customized colors. Then I have a widget that shows my most used languages. Uh, the first one is for the entirety of GitHub that I've used GitHub, which is not super accurate, but yeah, it gives the rough estimation pretty correctly. And then the next one is uh, most recent 14 days uh, of language use. So you can see that I have Elixir, Closer, all of these uh, exotic languages here as well because uh, I've, I've been trying to learn them on uh, Exorcism. But yeah, this is another widget. And then I have an expand section where I've included some of my latest tweets. So yeah, if you uh, want to stay updated, you can hit follow on Twitter on my profile as well. You can see on the right, I share about all of my latest releases and everything I have been working on. So yeah, if you want hit a uh, follow button on Twitter as well. But let's look at how I set these things up, right? Let me click on the edit button. So this basically opens up the readme file uh, and I hope this is not too small. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit more. So I was given a feedback on my last recording that the font size is too small. So hopefully yeah, this, this will cover it. But uh, here are the different uh, setup sections, right? So the first one is the heading as using H3 and all of it is center aligned with the div tag. So it's not just pure markdown. I'm actually using HTML elements in this file and you can do that as well. GitHub will automatically render them current correctly. Then for the images, the ones that you saw, uh, the, the links, right, colorful links. For them, I'm using image.seals.io and then I'm just passing in these parameters. That basically takes care of the links and I have all sorts of links to my social profiles, to my projects, everything over here. Then, uh, if I continue, yeah, then you'll see I have a snake its commits, a link to this file gen slash snake dot svg right and what it basically does is it's it's just a plain svg image and it's pointing to this repository 2kb6 slash 2kb6 and this particular folder asset slash gen slash snake right then the same thing for my github metrics uh, where i have set the assets here the path, it's a plain SVG which I'm loading. Uh, then the same thing for Twitter and then it's the closing of the div tag. So yeah, from a HTML slash markdown perspective, it's pretty simple. Let me show you how I'm generating these SVGs, right? For the snake, for the GitHub metric, for the Twitter feed. So if I go to code and if i go to github workflows right first let me give you a preview of the things that run so you can see there are three actions fetch latest tweets generate snake contributions and update github metrics right 
so for them all you have to do is come to this so let me start with the snake one so yeah this is the schedule uh, I think this transform to transforms to run every day at 11 30 but yeah you can look at crontab.guru or other websites to understand this syntax uh, doesn't really matter if you memorize this and then workflow dispatch is where this is going to run uh, then the first thing we are doing is running the actions checkout basically checking out the repo and then this is the repository i'm using to generate the snake this is a plugin a, a github action from platin sent out to him and then i'm setting up the github username and my output path right and then here i'm configuring the commit message basically that i want to use uh, before i push out this these changes and yeah here are the parameters that i used to change the color of the snake uh, then the color of the dots right so you can do the same thing um, and yeah after that i'm basically pushing it up and you can see i'm pushing it to this part asset slash gen slash snake dot svg again the same thing uh, i'm doing with the metrics github action so it's a simple github action uh, that generates my metrics and here i'm providing all of the options which plugin i'm using uh, what colors i want to use if i want to ignore any particular languages the limit of languages i want to show so yeah uh, and i can also add uh, who's authoring these commits so yeah this is for the plugin and this one is from the low lighter slash metrics github action they also have a lot of other things along with with the twitter one but i'm using them separately so let me show you the twitter one as well so yeah this one runs every six hours uh, and basically four times a day it fetches my latest tweets and yeah it's a simple one you can set the number of tweets you want to show you can show whether or not you want to show images and yeah this is pretty much it it's a quick way to get your tweets here and if you want to look at the generated files you can just go to this asset slash gen folder and you'll find everything here this is the matrix this is the snake this is the tweet so if you open this this would be a normal image right and it's a tra transparent svg so yeah looks pretty cool on the profile uh, let me go back one final time and yeah that is it for the video thanks for watching